Right, so uh, this is the start of my next project. Um, I'll show you what's inside the box and I'll basically I'll explain what the project is. Now, as well as my pit bike, I have my uh, MBK Rocket scooter, which is also called a Yamaha BWS in other countries and I've been tuning it for years and years and years and never managed to get it to go properly flat out full throttle so basically what I've seen on your other YouTube videos is where people have mounted a Yamaha Aerox engine on a BWX engine using um, these easy boost supreme conversion brackets which I'll show you a picture of and yeah basically I bought myself a Yamaha Irox engine my Irox engine my Irox engine my Irox engine but for those of you that know more a bit more about most moped engines I've got a minerally vertical in my MBK rocket and the Yamaha Aerox engines are minerally horizontal which are supposed to be more tunable and a bit faster. So that's what I bought. Okay, it's um, basically my next project really because like I said um, I haven't managed to be able to get my Yamaha BWS, my Yamaha BWS running properly or MDK rocket, whatever you want to call it. Um, and it's got everything on it, it's got a 70s kit, it's got a tuning clutch, it's got a racing variator, um, a bigger carb, 17.5 mil carb. Um, it's got the stock air filter, because I prefer that. Um, it's got a ZX, Leo Vince ZX power pipe. And it did have a gear up kit on it with a bigger ratio, but I took that off um, because I, I thought that might be part of the problem that I was having. And at the moment, I've just bought a new wiring loom and I've fitted that. And I haven't started the bike yet um, with the other engine on it, so I'm going to see what happens with that first before I start on this project. Because if it does work, I may just keep this for another time. But yeah, this is the engine. It cost me um, £70 and plus £29 postage and packaging. Oh god. Yeah, I can only feel that's a bit stiff. It should, it should be able to turn it over. But you can't. That's really stiff. Not a good sign. Um, I'll see if there's any gear oil in it. It says it's got 11,000 miles on it from the eBay ad I bought. Bought it off, so I mean that's quite a lot of miles. So it may just need a new piston and um, rings. But like I said, I'm not going to start doing it until. Oh, that oil smells bad. Oh, that smells bad. And that needs an oil change. But, um, yeah, as you can see, it's actually an Aprilla Sonic. Um, it's an Aprilla Sonic engine. It's 50cc air cooled. I'm hoping, the, I'm hoping it should fit the electrics quite easily. Um, once I've bought the subframe conversion. But that, um, yeah, if you could have smell of vision, this, is, this oil smells really bad. It's like fish. Okay, that's probably why the engine doesn't turn over because the stand's in the way. You probably already noticed that before I did. Let me just get this box out of the way and we'll uh, take a closer look. 
Right, so I'm going to see if I can put the stand down. Yep. And then I'll crank it over, see what happens. Oh yeah. The pressure might not be good, but at least it turns, means it's not seized. But yeah, it sounds nice. So, like I said, it's air cooled. As you can tell by the fan cover on the side. And these connections, I think, are the same as the one on my MBK rocket. So, I should be able to plug it in and go. Um, this is for the electric start, this cable here, which um, I don't have on my bike at the moment, so that'll come in handy. But I think what I'll do is I'll just connect. Um, yeah, I'll just connect a fuel tank to that with some two stroke and petrol in it, obviously. Put that into the, um, you know, CDI ignition of my other bike and put this on a stand and try and kick it over. Maybe get use the electric start to try and see if it fires up. And then this is the choke that the guy threw in. So yeah, all of this came together for um, £100, which I don't think is too bad. Can't seem to get the choke to move. Am I doing it the wrong way? No, I'm not. I'm doing it the wrong way. Mm. Who knows? Well, I'll play with that another time. But yeah, I'm quite happy so far. If you can see the exhaust port there, it's still the uh, restricted one. Now I was getting the focus. You know, it's not quite, um, it's not open, it's like half closed. And that's what comes on the uh, standard engines. So I'm quite pleased about that. Because it means no one's played with it. And then um, at some point I may bore it, that bit of metal out so the engine can breathe a bit better. These are the connections for the, for the CDI that I was on about. As so remember, this is an Aprilosonic engine and I'm going to try and fit it on my MBK Rocket slash Yamaha BWS moped. So like I said, this is going to be a Minarelli vertical to Minarelli horizontal conversion on my MBK Rocket slash Yamaha BWS 98. Again, in case you hadn't realised why one's called Minarelli Horizontal and one Minarelli Vertical, it's because this one, as you can see, the spark plug is pointing that way on the engine. So that's where the piston's going up and down that way. And on the vertical, the spark plug will be pointing up that way and the piston will be going up and down like that. So yeah, the... Uh, on the vertical one, the spark plug comes out here, and well, and you got the cylinder sort of like there. I think it's, you know, it sits on top here, and the carb there yeah, comes out the back. And so that's why you have to get the subframe subframe conversion kit to be able to put this on the um, yeah Yamaha BWS basically. Um, yeah, and it's also rear drum bake, like the MBK Rocket Yamaha BWS. Um, yeah, so the next video will be me trying to get this started, and hopefully it does. Peace out, fools. That's basically.